We're seeing the EURUSD rebound so far this week, which is something I mentioned over the weekend. So I'm going to have all the details in today's video as far as where this market could be going, including key levels and also where I think the euro could reverse later this week. I'm also going to talk about the DXY, so I'll have all the key levels there for the dollar index. Now, if you guys do want my help with your trading, including daily videos that you can only get in the VIP group and also exclusive setups and seeing my trades in real time, plus lifetime access to the course. OK, you're going to get lifetime access to all of that. Then see the link at the top of this video and sign up with Prime XBT, deposit $500 or more. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Let me know and I will give you lifetime access to the trading group and also the course. So alternatively, see the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that link just below this video. Okay, so looking at the Euro USD, if you guys have been around here for the last few weeks, then you are well aware that we have the Euro coiling here between these two levels going all the way back here to 2023. So this is the weekly time frame, And what you can see is that ever since the start of 2023, really uh, early 2023 to late 2023, that's when this pattern formed. And we've seen nothing but more coiling here for the euro. So I do think that, like I've said recently, I do think that we are likely to see uh, some very explosive moves from the euro, the pound, et cetera, over the coming months. But for now, we're really just dealing with a range bound market. So until we do get a breakout from this pattern, I think that the, the correct way to play this is just as a range bound market. Now, with that in mind, if we go here to the daily time frame. All right, so this back here from the euro, this back here was a fake out uh, from the euro USD. So this is what we've talked about here over the past couple of weeks. And again, if you guys have followed along, you know all about this here, where we got the market closing above this key level that goes back to 2021. All right, so we got the close above, the market held above it here as support for several days. We then got the close below right here on this candle. We even got a retest of this area's new resistance last week. Now, one thing that I mentioned over the weekend, though, that you had to be careful of was, first of all, we had the euro coming into, you know, very close to this November 2022 uh, trend line down here. And so this is why I really don't favor, I didn't favor shorting the euro down here because we were very close to this support area. And furthermore, if you are shorting down here, and we talk about this all the time in VIP, but if you are shorting down here in this area, even where the market is now, you're shorting after an extended move lower. If you're going to short a market, you want to be looking for shorts up here in this area, you know, longs down here in this area, shorts up here, et cetera. You get the idea, um, but you don't really want to be looking for shorts after the market has made this kind of move. If anything, if you think that this market has, you know, further to go to the downside, then you're looking for a retrace first. And that's what I want to talk about today. So like I mentioned over the weekend, the one thing that you do have to be careful of here um, with trying to short this market, apart from what I just mentioned is the fact that this Thursday candle, this big red candle right here, if you'll notice here on Friday, the market opened here, we got a very shallow retrace on this upper wick, and then the euro just sold off once again. So you have to be really careful of trading away from candles like this, because this up here right now is an imbalance. What that means is that there is liquidity left on the table up here in this area, and markets seek liquidity. Okay, these liquidity areas tend to serve as magnets for a market. So you've got to be careful with that. And that's exactly why I think we're seeing the euro start to rebound uh, from these lows here today. So what I think we could see over the coming days is potentially a move up here into this Thursday candle. Now, how far it goes, we'll have to wait and see. However, I do think that there's reason to believe that this area through here could become a factor. And the reason for this, and I know that this is a very wide area. However, if you'll notice back here, okay, the Euro USD spent a long time in this area. We had also this area through here, not quite as much, but, you know, again, some consolidation through here. And once again, through here. Now, you also notice that this is the low from right back here. Now, I'm not saying that we will get a retest here. I'm not sure that the Euro can make it that high. But I do think that this area up here, based on that Thursday candle, is something to watch here over the coming days. Now, if you combine this with something here on the one hour time frame, so if we go toward the one hour, which I don't typically use, guys, I'm a daily time frame trader. I like to stick to the daily, uh, weekly, maybe four hour charts here and there. Um, but I do think that this is relevant to what we're talking about because, again, this is that area that we just looked at on the daily. So if you'll notice here on the one hour time frame, if I take the channel tool off of this high up here and connect it with this one, what you're going to see here is that the EURUSD is actually trading within a descending channel right now. 
Okay, so again, we've got this high up here. We've got this one. We've got these lows. This one, you know, kind of touches that level. They could technically qualify, but we definitely have this one down here. So right now, I think what we could see, if we see the Euro USD close today above 1.0725, then I do think that areas like this high back here, these lows, you know, potentially this low and even this one back here, this whole area um, does come into play here over the next couple of days. And markets also have a tendency to reverse midweek. Okay, so a lot of times what you'll see after a big move like we saw last week is you will get a Monday bounce and then Tuesday or Wednesday, typically you'll get some type of reversal. And if you'll notice over here, okay, this right here is Tuesday midday and this over here is Wednesday. So really when we talk about a Tuesday, Wednesday reversal, you're talking about this area right over here. Now, obviously we could see the Euro break above this area and come back here and test, you know, fully retest that 2021 trend line. Uh, but I do think that this area right around 1.077 all the way up toward about 1.08 is going to be the area to watch. All right. Now, this also makes sense when we look at the DXY um, here, the US dollar index. So this level at 105.6, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know all about this level. So you can see the back here, this was support here uh, for the DXY, right? So support through here, the market closed below resistance and resistance once again. So this is another reason why I was saying over the weekend that you had to be careful with dollar longs earlier this week because we had the DXY testing this key level late last week. So when we talk about uh, these imbalances, you can also see the same thing here for the DXY. So based on Thursday and Friday, there were two imbalances, one based on this green candle, and this is why we're seeing the DXY rotate lower today. And the other one is based on this Thursday candle, which again, we saw a very shallow retracement so there is an imbalance down here in this area. So this would also, if we see this down here before a bounce, that would also line up with what we just looked at on the Euro USD. Okay, so that does make sense, uh, which also, you know, there's no coincidence with that because we do know that the Euro USD tends to move inversely to the DXY. Um, but I did want to show you guys this though, because we have also talked about this fake out that we saw down here, right? So I think that, you know, looking for dollar shorts, okay, this week, You've got to be really careful with that too, because this down here so far is a fake out below this channel. And like I always say, guys, if you have you followed me for years, you know all about these fake outs on higher time frames, and they do tend to produce uh, extended moves in the opposite directions. So for the DXY, even if we see a move down here to test this imbalance to fill this in before we see higher, this down here, this fake out, as long as the DXY is above the bottom of this channel, then this fake out tells me that we could see that extended move higher over the coming months. All right, the only way that, that fails is if we do see the DXY uh, closing back below this channel support down here. All right, so when you look at the EURUSD combined here with the DXY, I do think that, you know, again, we're likely to see um, some further rebound here from the Euro this week. And that's just based on the fact that the market did come into some short-term support here. And I do think though, like I said, 1.077 to 1.08, is going to be the area to watch because I do think, you know, just based on this intraday channel and also that key area that we just talked about, we do have that potential for a move up here, okay, into Tuesday, Wednesday, and then potentially from there a reversal. However, it is going to matter what kind of price action we see up here in this area. If the euro closes above this, guys, then watch out for 1.085. If we see bearish price action from here, though, and the market closes back below 107.25, then we're looking at this area down here around 106 all the way up toward about 106.50. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget too to join us in the trading group and get lifetime access to the course. Sign up with PrimeXBT, deposit $500 or more, and let me know this is a limited time offer. Trade well out there, guys. I will talk to you again tomorrow.